what is going on today guys tom cat here and today we are back in spin tires now in my last spin tires video where i tested this particular new kamaz 8x8 you guys really requested that i take it to um this new map now we tested the amg 6x6 here and it proved to be a little bit more difficult than we thought so a lot of you guys were saying that the off-road park map wasn't difficult enough and i should really take this thing here because it would be it would better test its abilities so what we're going to do is we're going to go with um let's see we're going to go with off-road wheels uh one and then from there we're going to go with the um let's go with the like the standard carriage because it's kind of multi-purpose and then from there we'll go ahead and start it up and get going not going to hang around in the uh main area for long there we go if locked and all-wheel drive on, let's get going. Now, as long as we don't get understeer issues, we'll be fine. But that's the thing. We're in an 8x8, and 8x8's generally understeer. This thing didn't really have to deal with any really tight corners in the last episode, so... When you're dealing with really tight corners, understeer becomes a huge issue. Let's disable... No, let's disable the diff lock for a second. See if we can get around this corner without it. Oh yeah, much better. Much nicer. But we are going to need it though. At this point, for sure. Making quite a bit more progress than the 8 and the Not the 8x8, eight eight, but the 6x6. But the six six, or at least making more progress than it originally did. Oh god, I may have spoken way too soon. Yeah, I... Oh, come on. I may have spoken way, way, way too soon. I do have a slightly different idea, though. And I don't know if we'll have the distance for it, but I'm going to try and get it up into high before we actually get to that little hill, because the 6x6 couldn't climb it either. Get the run-up we need. Low, and then hopefully we can get it in the high really quickly. Up in the high, we're good. This should work. Nope. Truck gets jammed up. That's the issue. I mean, we could try to climb it at a different angle, which is kind of working. One of the problems is it's twisting the whole truck. Yeah, it's kind of twisting the whole truck in half almost. Not not breaking it, but it's trying to flex in two different directions. And at this point, we're really going to need the winch. Uh, actually, you know what? Right there. And advanced mode off. Most definitely. Let's see. Go ahead and pull. Alright, we're good. That fixed it. Thing is, I don't know how long we'll be, you know, technically good to go in this section for. Ooh. Little tricky. Ooh, a little bit more than a little tricky, actually, for this, especially with this corner. Wow. Front end kind of pulled it around, though. Not too bad. I see the cloaking point out there. It should be quite a bit easier to get to it in this than it was in the 6x6. I mean, it wasn't hard, but with the 6x6, we kind of had to judge it based on um, the depth of the water. But I kind of know the depth of the water now out there. And this can absolutely make it through. With no issues. Oh, come on. We'll see about getting it up into high again. But again, like I said, I don't know if it'll make a difference. Hopefully that's enough room for us. Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Yes! Yes, there we go. That's how you do it without a winch. Oh, wow, okay. Going straight into the ground. Please no. Please no. I don't want to flip this thing right now. I really do not want to flip this thing over right now. That is like the farthest thing from what I'm interested in. 
Not even a dangerous water level. I love how we just like halfway submerged the cab of the truck and it's still not even close to a dangerous water level. And yeah, I was like, apply the brakes before we hit a tree. We weren't quite as close to hitting one as I thought we were, but we were still close. And even though it's not a no damage challenge, I still want to keep the truck in relatively decent shape. Oh yeah, no problem at all for this thing. Oh, please don't tell me that that little, basically, pebble messed us up completely. Wow, it actually did. It actually did. Nope, maybe it didn't. Okay, no, we're good. For a minute there, I was like, did an 8x8 seriously just get defeated by a tiny little rock? Nope, okay, don't you dare go any further. Don't you dare go any further. We've got to fix this. Alright, get into reverse real quick and see if we can see if we can get it back on the road without flipping it. Because this road is oddly angled, and if you're not on that inside edge, then you're done. Uh dang it, come on, get up the oh, oh. oh no. No, 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 no. Damn, come on. Won't let me start the engine. Damn. Okay. Um, we're gonna have to create some type of rescue here. I mean, I could rescue back to the garage, but I'd rather do it in a more interesting way. If you, to be honest, let's see. Let's see. Larger wheels, and we want a hmm. Remove. No. Uninstall. Start with crane, uninstall. Uh, what do we want? We want the garage carriage. And let's go ahead and start it up and get going because we gotta rescue this truck. It's literally like our our best, um, it's our best hope of, of exploring the, the further reaches of this map. And honestly, I didn't figure on having to rescue it, but that's always kind of a chance that you take in spin tires and something you have to be ready for. And if you're not ready for it, then eh, it can cause issues. It's this one first obstacle. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible right here. And you know what? It also pretty much requires the winch. Every single time. It doesn't even matter. Every single time, and ev almost every vehicle, because every vehicle I've tested here so far has needed to winch up that, uh, up that hill. Not really hill, but like little, um, incline. Here we go. Come on, then. There you oh, we got it. And this thing almost has this, well, I, I wouldn't say it has a worse turning radius than the 8x8, but it's close. This doesn't turn very well. Sure looks good, though. I've always loved the looks of this truck. It looks really, I don't know, it's got a really kind of classic look to it, but it looks really mean at the same time. It looks really, like, honestly, like, really focused and really purposeful. And that's really what it's supposed to be. Oh, can it do it without a winch? No. Nope. Let's see. Advanced and... Oh, winch to somewhere. No, oh, parking brake off. Didn't realize I had that on. Sometimes you'll just leave it on and not realize. There, that should have it. Yes! Only thing is, here's hoping this can actually pull that truck out. Like it's actually capable of it. The thing is, it's way heavier. It's a much bigger truck and a much heavier truck. And I, frankly, I don't know if this thing has the ability to pull it out. Hey, if worse comes to worse, we can always use this as a makeshift winch point. Oh, 
Not really having that much trouble with the road so far. Just as long as we don't flip this as well. I mean, that would be really bad. If we flip this and our main truck, that would suck. That'd be terrible. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to see how, first of all, we're going to see how close we need to actually be to winch to the front of this truck. Now, let's see, advanced and... Ah, we still need to be closer. Alright, now. Yes, okay, that works. That works, that's fine. Um. I am going to, yeah, okay, I'm going to go ahead and back up and see if that actually helps it at all. There we go. Well, we officially rescued it. Now all we gotta do is switch trucks. That didn't take very long. Number one, it didn't take very long, and number two, it was actually really, really simple. It's not always that simple to rescue a flipped over truck. Trust me on that one. It can be extremely difficult sometimes. Yeah, all-wheel drive and diff lock. Let's get out of here. It emerges. Well, maybe not very heroically, but... <laughs> uh, oh, God. None of those winch points are going to be uh, effective at all. Oh, well, maybe they will. Maybe they will. Be ah, come on. Yes, okay. Um, this is a bad idea. I don't recommend trying this at home. Oh, actually, it's a really good idea. Yes, try that at home. Good. <laughs> no, seriously, that works much better than I had expected. Was kind of taking a huge risk because I was worried we were going to flip the truck, but honestly, didn't make any difference at all. Just pulled it right back into line with the road. We can get up this little embankment. We'll be good to go again. We'll be back out on the road. I mean, this the AMG 6x6 did well here, but this monsters it. Aside from, obviously, the couple of times when we've had to winch it and the one time when we had to rescue it, this thing does really... Whoa! No, 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 no. Not again. Not again. Not this time. Okay. It's stable. But look at that. Look how close that is to flipping over. That is ridiculous. Okay. Um, actually, no. We want something like right over here to stabilize the truck. To stabilize it while we drive out. Oh, God. <laughs> this is ridiculously, like, precarious right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, God. <laughs> There's so many, like, close call moments right now with this truck. We've already flipped it once, and we've come close, like, five times now. There you go. It sounded like it was going to stall, and then it just kicked right up into high. Might want to take it out of high, though, because that caused us a lot of damage going into that embankment. Unlock the next cloaking point real quick. And you know what? This thing has so much ground clearance, we can just drive right through the water and bypass that corner entirely because this is not going to do very well in that corner anyway. So, there's absolutely no reason to go through it, honestly. Some trucks, it's fine. Other trucks, you kind of want to straighten out the corners as much as you can. Like this one. Really, any 8x8, you're going to want to do that. It's getting really overgrown now. We didn't come this far last time. No, this is like completely new. Or a completely new area of the map, I should say. It 
It's like it's gonna... It, it is climbing. Okay, we're not going in there right now. We're not going down to get that cloaking point right now. That will do later. I'm much more interested in following this road than potentially sacrificing this truck for a cloaking point. I only say sacrificing it because it's going to be really tricky to get back up that hill and because of the fact that there's so many trees down there that this thing could easily get stuck or pinned or something. It just looks like a really overgrown road that hasn't been used in forever. Really actually kind of similar to the rest of the map, but this even more so. Because a lot of the other sections, they looked kind of in disrepair, but like, but like they still, but like people still used them. This road looks like nobody has used it in years. This looks like no one uses it at all. Gives the map an interesting feel, too. It, it kind of makes you wonder. No! Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, this might actually save us. Nope, that is not gonna save us. Oh, oh god. Yeah, we're not getting out of that one, I don't think. <laughs> we're not getting out of that one. So, the conclusion, this thing is very top-heavy, and if we want to take it around on this map, we're gonna need to be a lot more careful. So, what I'm thinking is we can need a mixture of the non-top-heaviness of the AMG 6x6 and the power and grip abilities of this. So I'll keep on the lookout for a vehicle like that, and in the meantime, we'll just try and explore this map more. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.